problem with riding with the visor open, even if it's a nice day. Ah, you get slapped in the face by a wasp or a bee or something. Ah, that is not nice. You get, you get the slap, the initial hit, which isn't very pleasant, and then you get the stinging pain after. Oh! Oh my god, that is not a nice feeling. Okay. <laughs> oh, that's cool. about an hour. Right. Back in London, yeah. Oh, okay. I'll follow you boy. <laughs> Definitely not. <laughs> Alright, cheers for the ride on my head yeah, off. No worries, yeah. 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 Enjoy the rest of your day, yeah. I definitely will. You guys do.
I mean, that is stupid though, isn't it? There's some really good man management by the army. They could have had him for free. Basically, he wants a picture. Yeah. Mate, could you do me a... Sorry, you just... Yeah, no, no worries. I missed it. Yeah, there you go, I'm out. My shadow. Ready? Yeah. There you go. Cheers, mate. Thanks. All right. Have a good ride, mate. Yeah, you too. Bike goes over. Yeah. yeah. What what kind of ones you guys got? Over. Um, so Jake's got some nice gay and these are those are gay and trial boots. They're really soft, but they're um. Oh, they, they go all the way up. Yeah. They're nice, but they're I mean they're about two hundred fifty quid worth, I think, aren't they? They're, yeah. They're these city, are these city are cities. These are a city. What are they called? Courier. Oh, yeah. City courier. Okay. And again, they're not a motocross boot. They're a sort of, they're a little bit of fashion boot, but they're all leather, really solid, about one hundred and eighty quid. And they they got flex in them. They're not like the racing boots, or they're, how they're, they feel? they're more of a um. They're, they're quite stiff, but they're not as stiff as a, a full-on motocross or enduro boot. Okay, all right. And, you know, and you've got some some pretty solid. Yeah, jets, they're, some quite, pretty... they're probably more motocross than enduro. What's the, what's the sole? The, they got some like Michelin rubber on them. All right, okay. Yeah, yeah so I personally prefer something with a little bit of. A bit yeah, of grip, yeah. You know, just, I, just I think I. You, can push you said the city's. City courier. Courier, okay. Yeah, they're a bit. You, you'll see them out there. I mean, I, I picked this up on eBay for. They were hardly worn and they picked them on eBay for 90 quid, so you, oh, you can pick them up. Still. Um, if you're buying cities, go half a size, because they're Italian. Right, right. Go half a size um, bigger than your normal size. Okay. So I'm normally an 8.5, 9. Mm -hmm. I need these in 9.5, otherwise they're too tight. Okay. Whereas those are, those are about right, aren't they, on, on yeah. their size? Yeah. So I've got a set of those as well. And they're, okay. I've got a set of those on a 9 and they're all right. So I, I got for TCX because I've always had road boots. TCX. Yeah. And the sizing's bang on for me, 10. Yeah. Okay. But, um, and a mate of mine's got a set of TCX adventure boots and he really rates them. Yeah. So you just want something with some sole for it because the, the Enduro and the motocross boots are smooth. They have yeah. on the bottom. Yeah. So as soon as you put your foot down to like save something. Step off, yeah. Just, yeah. yeah. And when you're trying to help people and you're sliding, you know, someone's falling oh, over yeah. the mud, <laughs> just all over the shop. Yeah. Because that's what I bought to start with, old motocross boots, and they were just crap. No, not so good. All right. All right, well, cheers for that. I'll have a look. All right, see you guys later. Yeah, stay safe. Yeah, we'll do. Like very well. Like I 
always going fast over these bikes and it's a I think it's okay don't quote me on this again but I think it's like a three uh, not three maybe like a hundred and 200 kg bike let's say for argument's sake right 200 kg going 30 miles an hour over bumps and mud should not be that easy right and there was a couple like shaky moments but for the most part it was stable like really stable So, to be honest, I'm impressed. I really love this bike. Okay, we're gonna head back to the. Um, see my mirrors, but I can't see absolutely anything. We're gonna head back to the the Salisbury military route, sort of thing. I think it's the Salisbury Plains, is what it's called. But we're gonna go have a look at uh, just ride around that there a bit and get some shots with the camera down because. We're supposed to get some uh, the last sort of month. We're gonna get some shots like that, and then we're gonna head home because that was a good old day of riding. All right. Okay. So basically, the red flags mean you don't go in because it's actually a firing range. Yeah. So that right there is actually means that it's a because it's a byway that's shared with the military route so they have their uh when they're firing the red flags means it can't it means you can't go drive through so i think we're going to end the video there it was an amazing day and i would definitely recommend you guys coming down here uh yeah like comment subscribe and as always enjoy the ride it's so strong.